Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. Excuse me. This is episode number 51, so we've made it pretty far in the series. And I think that's testament to how good this game is. Um, it's not... It's surprising how time can really just take away playing this one. Although I find that true with a lot of the games I play, probably because the style of game are these like one more turn or just another minute type games. <laughs> anyway. So in this episode, we're going to finish, I need to fix this real fast, it's not fixing, there we go. Um, we're going to finish our design, and I have received a lot of the input from you guys, a lot of good stuff. It, it's been a real joy, actually, to like look through all the comments and stuff. Let me see, we had, it was going to be the St. George 3, there it is. Okay. So, um, we had some people mentioning, let's just go through some of these, because it is interesting trying to figure out what is the best design for us in the end. There's a, um, some people mentioning that we don't really need the torpedoes, but if I clear this, we're up to 90, which doesn't even represent um, enough for us to get another ammo up, another turret up, another turret top up, or another turret up. Um, it, the, the only thing it really uh, does for us is take away some torpedoes that we can't use um, that space for anything else. So what I'm really going to do, I'll leave torpedoes cleared here just for a moment. Um, and what we'll do is fill in everything else exactly the way I want it. And then after that, we'll come back and add torpedoes if I'm within like 90. Because just based on those few changes I just did, it doesn't look like anything is going to impact my ship by less than 150 tons. So we're, we're, I'm almost positive in the end we won't get so close on the dot. The only thing that which doesn't affect that is the conning tower, but um, I would prefer to keep the conning tower at a pretty high armor rating. So, I mean, if it comes down to 17 versus 18 for conning tower, or actually being able to grab some torpedoes, I would much rather grab the two torpedoes because those can be end up being um, the difference maker, whereas the conning tower, it's very unlikely it'll get hit. It's very unlikely that the difference between 17 inches and 18 inches is going to make a difference. So, okay, but after some quite a lot of deliberation, I think one of the things we can do is take our secondaries down to 2.5. Now, people have also been saying that 25 might be too much, and I'm okay with doing that, but I think I think we can get out of our turret. Um, we can get 14.5 just by having dropped our secondaries down to 2.5. So this is really where I enter this comfort zone. Now, note, there's plenty of people asking me to drop the torpedo defense, and I think that's a, not a bad decision. Um, but the torpedo 3 to 4 is only 300. The big change is from 2 to 3 at basically a thousand itself. So the difference from three to four is pretty minor. And I, uh, if you think about the last few series, what is the thing that most often sinks my battleships? I'm saying right now, I cannot remember offhand uh, a situation where my any of my battleships were sunk purely by gunfire. So I'm gonna, this is just a test. I don't know how good Torpedo Defense 4 is, but I want to try it out. St. George 3, we, the, remember, the, the main thing which is going to get you on a ship which is already 52,000 tons, a 52-ton ta uh, ship, 52,000-ton ship, does not desire to sink. <laughs> it's very hard to sink this thing to begin with, which means that it's very hard to um, pound this thing repeatedly to death. The main way you're going to lose this thing, by the way, come on, let's just, come on, just add at least two here, just so it has some semblance of power. Uh, the main way we're going to lose is by critical hits, and that's why I'm shoring up the turrets. The turret top is at five, I think that's extraordinary, and um, also the torpedo defense. So, at speed of 25, it's probably true we can keep a huge distance, and since we only opted for belt armor of 12, Maybe that's not a bad idea. Uh, okay, so I think 
in the end, basically, what I'm saying is I think the ship is okay as is. What it, would it cost for us to get to 12.5? Um, basically, we could get to 12.5 belt armor if we drop the speed, but to me, the speed is more important. Um, it's almost in memory of St. George. <laughs> the heavy cruiser, that this is like, this ship is supposed to be everything. Fast, well defended, and the best thing about this ship, just remember, we're bringing more higher caliber guns to bear than any ship I've ever seen in Rule the Waves. Now, I'm, I'm exaggerating only slightly because I've seen some absurd examples of ships, especially when ship classes were able to go up to um, 70,000 over 52. But remember, we're not, as my usual designs, typically we're only three... Uh, four three-gun turrets. We're now dealing with two of those being quadruple turrets. This is an insane ship. So I, I don't mind at all that we have to make little sacrifices, and the fact that we have this much firepower at 25 knots makes this basically... Um, this is the HMS Impossible. I, mean, I don't remember the actual name of the ship, but this is the everything-in-one ship. Everything you could want in a ship is in this one. Um, to be extremely uh, honest, I actually wish we could get another round of guns up. Maybe we just lower this. Yeah, uh, it's uh, I don't really want to do that. 2.5 is like my sweet zone. We probably don't need more than 90 rounds, but okay, how can we figure this out? Oh, maybe take the conning tower down? Wow, look at that. And this means that in the end I would make this ship completely without torpedoes, just like everyone's asking. So, I, I see this as a, a sign from the heavens that this is the appropriate configuration. We've done everything now. So, I'll take that as the sign that we're, we're good to go. A damn expensive ship, but I will bankrupt the country if it means it's possible for us to build a few more. So I mean, I remember there's a lot of different things and tor about torpedo tubes and stuff. So at least that will satisfy some people. Now this is gonna be 6.7, which means even right now we're only able to build one. <laughs> I'll preemptively start building two. Oh boy. And uh, the namings for these are all going to be the retired ships. So uh, just remember to remind me who needs a ship now. Um, I know Captain Rabbit was promised one, so we'll make the Rabbit. Our second in command, the St. George III. This one might become the Tortuga. It is the St. George III class. And because of that, in recognition of that, we'll rename this one, though. This will be uh, my... Uh, capital ship, my commanding ship, the flagship of the Navy, the Tortuga. So there she is. And now uh, if anybody else wants to be added, go ahead. Just let me know. Anybody who, who wants can be part of this as long as I actually get enough of these St. George class threes. I mean St. George three classes. So uh, is there any way we can gain any money? What's, what's the the way we can... So these Kaiser classes are pretty weak. So we had 11 inch guns on these guys. They're extremely weak. And these guys were 13 inch guns. That's not so bad actually. This one's still functional. Extremely weak in terms of armor, but... Hmm. I'm just trying to look if we can set anybody else to reserve fleet. But no, I don't think so. Um, and compared to other people, we do have a sizable number of light cruisers. So it's possible we could start getting rid of our Navara classes. They don't contribute that much. We're, we're, we're at 1.2 million, basically, with these. That's really not that much. And in a way, they're saving us money because we can bring these guys over to the foreign stations. So we'll leave it. I'm pretty happy with our fleet configuration. The only thing I wish is that we could get more than 
just two of these guys out. Okay, well, Great Britain is the one we want. 12 inch quality one, that's fine. We don't even have any ships with 12 inch guns anymore. We did at the start, but now those are all gone. Okay, make the nation. Now we really don't want to go to war with Italy. <laughs> So this is a perfect comparison. We note that we have better deck armor than this. We're five knots faster. And we just way, way outgun it. So if this is the new British Dreadnought, our St. George III will just annihilate it. I'd even go so far as to say we could probably take on two of these at the same time. So that's a bold statement, but um, we'd sink them fast enough, I think it would work. I think it's absolutely the time to get some budget up. <laughs> and that was a significant jump. What the hell's this? I'm a little worried. I don't want tension to go up with Italy. I don't want to fight Italy. But I can't take the budget down. Oh, central firing. Is that a problem for you? Even though we have advanced director firing? It's interesting. Let's just take a look at what Italy has. I mean, we already outnumber them in dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. They actually have some old heavy cruisers. <laughs> they don't have very many light cruisers. They have a few destroyers. That's good. Some challenge for us. Yeah, and then nobody seems to be able to be building minesweepers like we do. All right. Well, uh, hopefully we can get some more ships soon with the budget. I think at this point it's probably good to put everything onto high because uh, I think we've researched everything we're going to. So I don't think we need to prioritize anything in particular now. In fact, we probably could just cut back on our research. How much is it costing? It's only 3.8. That's so minor. Huh. Yeah. I'll think about it. I think we'll do this. Tension equals budget, so that's good. Well, things are getting up there pretty quick. <laughs> uh, it says things are happening a little too quick. We don't have enough ships yet. Uh, seven million to get another one. Okay, well, um, we could cut back on research. I think we'll keep going on research for a little bit longer, just a couple more turns, but then it probably will be sacrificed. Oh my gosh, perfect, absolutely perfect. And uh, who's somebody else who got cut? I, I, okay, let's look. We had... Uh, I, gosh darn it if I can't remember. Yep, I don't remember. So I'll just leave this as Wavenberg, but this will be somebody else's ship. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Budget down. I'm going to do this because fighting the last group with Germany is like the World War I situation, and I think that's pretty epic. So let's go ahead and do this, even though it'll hurt our budget. Oh my gosh, that did that hurt our budget. Okay, but now research is definitely going to suffer now. That 
that's not even going to help. Holy cow. Well, we need budget. I mean, I'm going to probably tank our prestige, but I don't see... Yeah, well, we can get one more turn. I think we choose the first option. I don't really care about tension up, though. So let's do this. Yeah, so we don't need research. I don't think it's going to help. It's not doing anything, though. What? What is two versus zero? <sighs> so little. Damn it! Well, okay, we'll have to pause this one. This is just how it's going to go when you're trying to build the world's most expensive ship. Um... Another thing we could consider doing is scrapping these super heavy maintenance ones, which I'm pretty sure are both these, but are these worth it? Okay, so take a look at ours. We have 12 14 inch guns. And then, wait, by the way, do we ever upgrade these to quality? Did we get quality one? We did. So we'll probably have to do the upgrade to the battle cruisers as well, which is gonna be expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think I just like our designs better. So these are eight 16 inch guns, 24 knots. This is a battle cruiser at 24 knots, which is, it makes no. This is not a battle cruiser, by the way. This is just absolutely not a battle cruiser. It just, it, it's not. And this thing is costing us an arm and a leg to run. All right, well, first things first, let's try to move our ships, our battle cruisers, back home. This is going to save us a really minor amount. But I hope that the that it's okay for us to do this. Do we have anybody in? I think we have in the Caribbean. Yeah, we still have three others. In West Africa, we still have three others. Perfect. Okay. I'm really hoping that that is enough to satisfy the requirements. But you know what? Just to be extra safe, I will move one more light cruiser of the Navarre class into each one. So let's get one more into the Caribbean. Just preemptively. I know it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine in the in West Africa. But hey, to be extra safe, we'll do this. This is gonna save us quite a bit of maintenance. As you can see that the battle cruisers, when they're, um, they're only 588, but it's 100,000 more if they're away from that. So let's be a little bit min-maxy about that kind of stuff. I think we'll take our research down to 1% just because I see that we have no budget. Ay ay ay. Yep. We're going to do it. We're going to take these guys to reserve status as well. Okay, it's going to save us a bit. We got to squeeze everything out. Yep, that's right budget tension yeah well, I don't want to go to war with Italy so let's just do this perfect or a little bit of extra budget we're getting there we're getting there I think this is good they'll return to um, good at the very end of this and we are gonna have to do those refits but those take very a lot less time so our first priority definitely let's make sure that we get the ships laid because they take so long to build. Let's see, we halted this guy. We just don't have the budget to do it yet. <laughs> yes, absolutely. A new cruiser from Great Britain arrived and everyone's asking us for a comment. We're gonna tell them we don't have enough budget to make ships like that because the Austro-Hungarian parliament has basically uh, blackballed us from getting enough budget to build the lovely St. George III. And it worked. So now we can unpause this one. I think four of these would be uh, at least a reasonable number. Five would be ideal. I mean, five would be the minimum that I would prefer. Like, okay, so four is the minimum, but five is like my comfortable level. And, and we won't be spending money on anything other than those new ships. 
because they are the best of the best. Monthly budget still just squeaking by. And I, I just don't think there's any other research we can do, so I'm not really worried about that. Do we want... I think we'll do this. I The reason why I say this, let's see how much it hurts our budget. 517. It didn't say budget down specifically. Yeah, okay. I'm completely okay with that. I don't want to go to war with Italy. If we went to war with Italy, I would fight that one and then <laughs> turn around and fight another one. <laughs> Even though the war is... I mean, it's already 1931, but I'm... Always the end game, right? You have to fight Great Britain or United States. It's the only way the game feels complete. So we'll keep pushing on here. We have enough money that I can almost start building another one. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, basically with research, we, I'm bringing this up to 5%. It's fine. I just, I wonder if there's any other research I haven't done. Ah, huh, well, there it is. Apparently there is research I haven't done. Nova Scotia. What are you up to, Nova Scotia? There it is. <laughs> um, well, that's good for us. More. This is amazing that the Great Britain... It's from our efforts, by the way, but they've taken over the entire Indian Ocean. You'd think they would share... All right, let's drop research down to zero. Ah, probably still not enough. It's going to be another six million. Yeah, all right, well, let's just start saving, I guess. Oh, wow, perfect. So this one, I think we just do this budget and tension, or this one, which doesn't leave to tension. Okay, let's do that. And is that enough? One more time. Always one more turn. Sell us the rights to 15 inch quality one. This is one of those rare cases where I'm considering turning this down because it's basically half of our standing funds. And I think we don't need it. The reason I think that is because, well, we're not going to build a new ship. Okay, I, I mean, I'm thinking a lot about this. These French class ships. Fifteen inch. I'm I'm i I'm gonna scrap this guy. Yep, and I think I'm also gonna scrap the Gidon. This one's not so bad, but just the only the eight inch the only the eight guns is a little bit low for my taste. But in my opinion, this is a far better ship than the previous one. And she already has the quality one 16 inch guns, so that's good. I will keep her. Oh, she is bulged. Is that why she's so slow? Speed of 24? Ugh. Now remember, if I'm not mistaken, this was 27 or 28 before bulging. So with the, the bulged hull to protect against torpedoes, we lost like three or four knots, which I mean, it's really not that good. I don't know what the maintenance is going to be on the ships, the St. George 3. Let's find out. About 858. This is 665. I just feel like one of ours is so much better. I'm going to scrap this one as well. I'm going to attribute this to the proud Austro-Hungarian people not wanting any ship but their own involved. And now we actually have this problem where some of our Navarra classes are starting to become uh, a little dated. So we'll send the Achilles down to those places instead. Uh, Caribbean, which makes sense anyway. They're going to be much better on handling, handling themselves. Okay, West Africa. Caribbean, very good. And as soon as those guys get back, um, in two more turns, then we can start rebuilding the other ones. Okay, and Great Britain just lost Nova Scotia. 
Whoa, this... Unreal. This naval secretary is just unreal. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we're going to say, of course, sir. Because I really want that budget. And we're going to start building another St. George 3. Fine. Name it this, but it'll be renamed. But I'm doing all this... It's, it's all just a, a lie. I'm taking their money and running. And I think, so in six months, um, it's October now, we might not even try to build those 28 submarines. We might just say F it. Oh, that is fantastic timing. Okay, so certainly we get one more. Fine. And okay, so we are able to go to war in another two years. <laughs> And by that time, I mean, we should just preemptively build another one. Yep. Okay, good, good, good. I like this. Oh my gosh, this is a really bad time for that budget decrease. We're still getting research done somehow? Italy is not good. I want Great Britain. Yeah, we'll lower it with Italy. Sounds good. Okay. November, December, January, February, March. So this is the last month. I'm kind of interested in this. I know we take a prestige hit, but do they also yank our budget if we lied to them? How many submarines do I have? Okay, uh, let me explain what my thought process behind this is. And maybe I'll just pause the video here. So um, I'll let you guys contribute your, your feedback if you have it. I don't think that playing a submarine heavy game is fun. Because that means you're just relying on the month to month submarines to do warfare. And you're really shooting yourself in the foot for your surface fleet. And in my opinion, this game, Rule the Waves, is a lot more about your surface fleet. I think you can kind of cheese a win with your submarines. It's not cheese, it's a legitimate strategy, but it's not hands-on. You're just, you take your hands off the keyboard, you hit end turn with the mouse, and you let the submarines just rape the other nation. So I don't really know if that's a, a good strategy for playing this game. Not that it's not an effective strategy, but is it fun? Is it really the way the game's meant to be played? I don't think so. But I'll call this video to a close here, and we can debate amongst ourselves whether or not I should be building 28 new submarines or not. In the meantime, I advise you once again to stare at the glory and the greatness of our flagship, the Tortuga, and her 14 17-inch guns. That's just insane. Just insane. And very good armor. I, the only thing we could maybe have done is gotten the turrets up to 15. But remember, the top part, 3.5 inch deck and 5 inches on top of those turrets. So, I regret nothing. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.